Hi and welcome to another bird cake toy. Uh, I have seen that uh, a guy, I don't know his name, but he made a car game in Slash GS3, and uh, but he had no voice uh, in the tutorial, so I thought I make one. So you have actually voice uh, guy that's speaking and explains to you the action script, and so we're gonna make a simple car game in flash and what we want to start with is we are go to our frame here and I'm gonna yep delete this and uh, we're gonna make a car we're gonna make a red car and then we're gonna make this like free so it the edges will be rounded like that and I'm gonna paint a window at the front, a black window, like that. Fill it in with black color too, and we're gonna have some wheels. I'm gonna paint them by my by myself, like that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, sorry, like that. Not the best car ever. <laughs> But uh, we'll work with it. I'm going to convert to a symbol and then I'm going to name it car. Like that. And the registration is going to be in the middle. And we'll press OK. What we want to do now is going to go to action script. And we're going to type in on, on clip event enter frame. And we're gonna add this code that makes our uh, shop uh, move when we press our keys. And now what? I'm gonna paste that code in actually because I already have it. And my game is here, and we have moving script. Uh, this is how the co code looks like, but we're gonna add one thing, and uh, that is. So what this basically means is just when we enter this frame, this is what's going to happen. And if we press down our left arrow key, uh, this X is going to go minus uh, 15. Plus and yeah, we can just test this. I'm going to show you. It's much easier to explain that. And if we press our arrow keys to the right, it's going to move to the right. And same thing with left, up and down. But if you can make a car game, you can't just drive around and facing the same way all the time because you want it to change direction, right? Yes, of course we do. So what we want to do, we're gonna add actions here, and we're gonna have if key is down, key left. If if our arrow key is down, we're gonna go to a frame that actually is named left. We got shift. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Gonna just gonna copy this code and change the name here to right, and we can have it here too. And the uh, just gonna change this to up and down like that. So if we press down our left arrow key, uh, our X position is gonna go minus 15, so we're just gonna keep going to the left, actually. And we're gonna go to our frame that's actually in our movie clip. I'm gonna show you in just a bit. Uh, and that's gonna be named left. Uh, what we want to do is gonna move this up here and else. So it's gonna have it like that. And same thing with this can be else if, and this can be el else if. Can check if it's errors, no errors. And uh, we are going to go into this, double click on it, and we're in this frame. This frame we're gonna name down here at frame label. We're gonna name it up. So that's gonna be our up frame. 
this is what's going to look uh, like when we press our up arrow key it's going to go to this frame and if we press F6 we s you see it we add one frame and uh, the color looks exactly the same but we're just going to change that and we're going to actually just go to modify here and transform and flip horizont no sorry we are going to flip the horizont go over there we can just go to our transform freeze transform zoom and rotate it like that so and this is going to be our right frame we got go to frame label again and then right so when we press our right arrow key we're going to go to this uh -huh. press f6 to add one more frame and just change it to the left so it looks like it's driving left you see we have selected this uh, frame let's not select it again go to frame label and name it left one more time we're gonna press f6 and you see we have this frame all we have to do now is just rotate it like that so it's facing down press on our frame again and name this down like that uh, what we want to do we want uh, all frames to be a stop command and instead of just go to each frame and type in stop we're gonna go to a new layer name this stop and just go here in actions and type in stop and you see it's automatically uh, that many frames on this uh, layer so on all these frames it's stop action that's much easier so if we try this game now and press right now it looks like we're driving up and down like that moving and yeah so it's very easy and now you know how to make a car game uh, in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make walls and uh, maybe an enemy well thanks for watching and uh, please remember to comment and uh, rate